Um, okay, so I thought um, that maybe we could do a little bit of a fun activity. So I am going to try and show you how to make a little origami frog. Now, personally, I don't like real frogs, but um, hopefully a paper one will be a little bit less scary. Maybe that can't be all that bad. Um, but yeah, I've tried a few times, as you can see. So let's try and make one together. Let's get started. Right, so you are going to have a big normal piece of paper or card or anything that you have lying around um, and you're going to have to fold it in half, fold down the edges nice and neatly um, and then you're going to cut that piece of card until you have half. Then you're going to take this half and you are going to fold it lengthways again fold it nice and neatly down the middle and you're going to tear or cut that half until you get a nice long rectangular piece like this. Okay, so you'll have one quarter of your paper or your card, right? Once you have this nice long piece of paper, we're going to get started on making a frog. Now, I have already cheated because I've already started, but I'm going to show you step by step. So first step, you're going to take a corner you're going to fold your edge of your paper to that edge of the paper nice and neatly and you're going to squish it down tight, right? Then you're going to lift that. You're going to take the other corner and you're going to do it to the other side. So make sure that this edge lines up nicely with, well, a bit better than mine, uh, but lines up nicely with the edge of the paper. Again, squish down along the side and lift up, okay? Then you will see you have almost an X marks the spot. Now this is where the trickiest part of it all comes in. You need to take your page and you need to squish so that you get a little point on the inside. You see the point on the outside? While squishing this, you might need an adult's help. You're going to fold and bend down the top, okay? that's what my complicated fingers look like on the other side. Whoop. That's what it's going to end up looking like on the inside. That's what it looks like on the outside. Okay, so you're gonna fold, bend. Trust me, practice makes perfect. You're gonna squish that down, line these edges up nicely, line these edges up nicely, get a nice little point at the front. This little point is going to be your little fnog's nose, right? Let's squish that all about. So, once you've completed that, that is what that will look like. Now we need to make the frog's legs. So we're going to take this corner, hold down the middle, take this corner, we're going to lift it up so that the leg is going to poke out the side and we're going to squish down nice and hard, right? One little jumping leg. Now we need to do the same to the other side. Take the corner and lift it up so it pokes out the side and squish down. Right. So we've got our little jumping frog's legs. Now, next step, you're going to take the side of your card or your paper. You're going to fold it in. As you fold it in, this join needs to almost be in line with the join of your leg. I'll do it nice and slowly for you if this works. It's a bit harder with card. Right, can you see? Fold it in and run your finger all the way down. Right, now the same on the other side. Nice and easy. Fold it in. Run your finger all the way down, like so, okay? Right, next step. Now, I know that my piece is already going to be a bit too long, but I'll show you what we need to do. We need to create the body of the frog. So we're going to leave a little bit of a gap, probably just about bigger than your finger. Okay, and you're going to make a little bit of a bend. 
I'm going to bend, 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 bend. And can you see all this extra piece? You're going to snip it off, or if you don't have scissors lying around like Mrs. Morris, you're going to just tear it off very neatly. Right, so you folded it up. There's the front of your frog. Now you need to fold it back. Remember, the front feet of your frog need to stick out still. Okay, so we're going to fold it back. Make sure it all squishes down nice and neatly. Now my frog still has all this extra tail, which I don't want because frogs don't have tails. So with my invisible scissors, I'm going to... Oh, very carefully get rid of that bit. See how nice and neat my invisible scissors are? And voila, now for the test. You ready? Let's go. Oh. Oh, this frog has a mind of its own. Oh, yay! It works! <laughs> and that is how... Oh, and you can put some eyes on or, you know, anything you want. But that is how you make some little jumping frogs. Goodbye!